Hi, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create this um, black and white flyer for your next event to get the word out. Um, I kind of struggled to find a layout that I liked for our PTA meetings. Um, I created this and I, I think it's pretty nice and really easy to do. Uh, I did want to point out that I also have a YouTube channel which has a lot of other videos that are very useful um, for nonprofits uh, as well as businesses as well as personal use. Um, everything from creating raffle tickets to certificates of appreciation, um, but I also have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Also, if you would subscribe to my channel and or like any of all my videos, and if you find a advertisement that is useful and you want to learn more, um, feel free to click on it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, Blank Document. And we're going to go to page layout, we're going to go to margins, and we're going to go to narrow. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create sort of that top um, banner, if you will. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a couple different shapes. So we're going to start with the rectangle, and we're going to go ahead and click over here, and we're going to move this over about halfway in between, and you can kind of eyeball it um, however you want it to look. Now, I made the margins. If you noticed, I did page layouts. I did margins. I did narrow, so it's 0 .5, 0 .5. Um, It gives you more real estate to work with. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is move um, this over so you see these green lines, okay? Um, if you do not see those green lines, you want to click on page layout, go to align, go to use alignment guides, and then you'll see those. And again, this is the narrow. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on Format, and we want to do a Shape Fill, and we want to do a really light gray, and we want to do a shape outline of that same very light gray. Okay, And then we can kind of move this over. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a picture. Oops, I'm so sorry about that. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a shape, and we want to insert a triangle. Okay. From here, you can go ahead and click right there. And then what you're going to want to do is ensure this is selected. And do you see this little um, circular arrow? You want to go here and you want to turn it right there. And you want to move this up. And we want to go to shape fill of that same gray, shape outline of that same outline. And then we want to, um, actually before we copy and paste, what we want to do is we want to take a look and see how big this rectangle is. This is 1.85. And we can go ahead and just make this a 2. And this is 5.5. 5. 5. Um, and so again, that is 2 and 5.5. Now the reason why that's important is we want this triangle to be exactly half. So if this is 2, we want the height of this to be 1. Okay. Now if you notice here, the reason why I did the length is because, again, this is normally this direction. That's why I did the length of 1. And we can go ahead and make this a true triangle and make this one as well. Then we can go ahead and move this over, and then we want to move this right there. And then we can right click, we can do a copy, and then we can right click and we can do a paste. And then we can move this on over, and again, you can just go ahead and grab it and use your um, mouse. Now as you can see, this one is still a little off, so we want to select this, and we know it's selected because we see the little squares, and you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move those up and around. Okay, um, And if we wanted to, we could make this even a little bit bigger, and let's scoot these over here, and let's move this back one. Again, I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard, and then you can just drag and move that there. Okay, So now we have um, sort of that banner. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box. And we want to draw a text box and we want to draw it like right there. And we want to do a shape fill of this very dark gray. Okay. And we want to click on edit shape and we want to change the shape to the Here we go. Rectangle, we want the rounded rectangle. Okay. Now from here, we can go ahead and click in here. We want to write access PTA budget project. And we can go ahead and highlight this text. We want to go to home and we want to make this white. Um, the font that I used was a song for Jennifer, and I made this a 28. 
point font. And so now we can actually make this a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. And then we can turn this. We can move this right over there. Okay. And we can actually make this a little bit bigger. I made that 28, but we can make this maybe 30. Okay. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to insert another text box. And we want to draw the text box and we can write it over here. We want to write vote on how to spend 30 dollars on improving our school and we just want to do a spell check there and then from here we can go ahead and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline we also want to highlight this go to home and we want to go to line and paragraph spacing we want to go to line spacing options and do a zero and a single then we want to change the font, and this font is called AR Darling. And let's go ahead and make this a mm, 55 point font. Let's go ahead and center this. Okay, and this is Calibri, and this is a 20 point font. And if we wanted to, we could actually move this on over. And then if we wanted to, we can kind of put some spaces there to move that down. And we could make this even bigger and make this a 65 point font. Okay. Um, so that is how you can get that banner on the top. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a shape and we want to insert our callouts, and we want to insert the oval callout. And then from here, we're going to make this really big. And we want to move this callout over here. And again, if you saw, I just grabbed the little yellow square at the bottom here. And we can move this up and over make this bigger and then what you want to do is you want to highlight this and you want to say to send to back and then the other things we want to do is a shape fill and we want to do even a lighter gray there we go and we can do the shape outline of just a slightly more gray okay now we want to insert a text box and we want to draw a text box and we can go here and rather than um, um, typing all of this out, I'm actually going to go and copy and paste because this is a lot of text. I'm going to do a Control C. Um, let's go back here and I do Control V for paste. The font that I used for this is Comic Sans Microsoft MS. And it's a 20 point font and all I did was um, I used the numbering bullets in order to get this to look the way it looks. Okay, and let's actually move this over here and let's move this over here and if we wanted to we can just again put some um, spaces there to move that to the next line. Now what we want to do is we want to insert a shape and we want to insert a line. We want to hold down the shift key line this up right there and we want to move this on over all the way to the end and then we want to highlight this and we see the square on this and the square on this end and we want to do a shape outline of this really really dark gray and we want to do a weight of six point font and we want to do more lines and uh, we want to do a compound line and then we want to do th thin thick thin or the triple and let's actually make this a black and there we go okay um, next thing we want to do we can move this up with the arrow keys if we wanted um, there we go and then the next thing we want to do is we want to insert text box, we want to draw a text box, and we want to draw it all the way across here, 
and we want to click on shape outline and we want to do more lines and we want to do a square dot okay all right now we can type in here we want to hear from you Please come and cast your vote on March 1st. There we go. And we can highlight this. We can go to home. And I used Arial Black. Oops. There we go. And this is a 22, but we can actually make this one 25. And we can go ahead and center that. Okay. Finally, we want to insert our last text box and we want to draw our text box. And we're going to put this down here. And actually, if we wanted to, we could make this uh, maybe a 22 point font or a 24 point font. And we can make this just a little bit smaller up there. And we can make this a 25 point, no, let's do 24.5, there we go. All right, um, now from here we can go ahead and make this slightly bigger and we want to do a format and we want to do a shape fill of this really dark gray and we want to go down here and we want to go to home and want to make this white and this is a Calibri and a 12 point font. If you are not able to join one or either of the meetings, please email email at gmail.com um, to advocate a ballot item. All community members. Welcome, kids are well to play on computers or read a book. And what we want to do is we want to highlight this email address and we want to say remove hyperlink so it's white. We want to correct the spelling to please and we want to correct this spelling to able. And again, all I'm doing is left clicking. Then you want to highlight all this, and let's actually make this a 14 point font. And then we want to say all community members welcome, and we can bold this. And that's it. That's how you can create this um, black and white flyer um, really easily using Microsoft Word. It's again, um, I think a pretty nice layout and pretty catchy. Um, alternatively, you can also insert a I don't know where the uh... oh here we go you can insert your um, company's logo and again you want to go to in front of text you can make this much smaller and you can move that up there and change the color to black and white and there you go there you have it um, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like any and all of my videos and or subscribe to my channel. I am always looking for new ideas so um, please feel free to let me know if you have um, another idea for another video. I'm going to go ahead and format and actually make this a little bit darker. There you go. Thanks so much and have a great day.